Hello and welcome to the Review Peeps 101 review of the Mesa 2000 VA, 1200W UPS. I bought this UPS about 18 months ago, in April 2021, which means that it's lasted longer than most of my pot plants. When I bought this UPS, I don't think I really understood the correct purpose for having it. The idea popped into my head of living in a utopia world of having power to watch TV and power my essential electronics, while laughing at my struggling South African power provider, Eskom. However, the reality is that the UPS does not provide all of this on its own, so what are the reasons and purposes for buying it? Number 1. It buys you time. During a power outage, using the UPS gives you time to shut down your PC and other sensitive electronics safely. Depending on your power usage, the batteries in this UPS do not provide power for very long, and over time the battery life experience will continue to decrease. I would not recommend using the UPS to power a TV as the battery lifespan will decrease even faster. The UPS should be used more for essential electronics. It can provide power for your fiber line and Wi-Fi or 4G 5G router for a limited amount of time. The UPS works well when you use it together with a generator, the UPS provides the temporary power, which gives you time to go and power on the generator. Number 2. It protects your electronics. An interesting fact is that the electricity we receive from our power provider, Eskom, is full of spikes and dips. This is partly because all the big power users, like mines and other large manufacturers, affect the flow of electricity whenever they tap in and out of the main supply. Some surges can also be caused by your own home. Appliances that have motors, such as washing machines and vacuum cleaners, and appliances with compressors, such as fridges and freezers, draw extra voltage every time they switch on. These little dips and surges that happen continuously, do harm to the performance of your electronics, and reduces their lifespan over a few years. The Mesa UPS provides protection against these power dips and surges, and acts as a power stabilizer. Please note that the UPS does not provide protection against lightning, although it can help. In terms of size, it doesn't take up too much space, so it's easy to tuck away under a desk or in a corner. At the back of the UPS, it comes equipped with two, three-prong plugs, and two PC cord plugs. When there is a main power supply, the noise from the UPS is almost unnoticeable. When the main power supply is off though, the noise level goes up quite a bit, as the fan kicks in, and there is a buzzing, whirring sound. I can live with it, but that is probably person-specific. What I can't live with though, is the constant beeping sound whenever the power supply is off. You can turn it off using software, however, be warned that, if the UPS is turned off, or runs out of power, when it is turned on again you will need to disable the beeping sound setting, in the software again. There is a great video here, by the Atomic Access Channel, on how to download the software and disable the beeping sound. The batteries that the UPS comes with, are lead acid batteries. As you may know, these batteries don't have the greatest lifespan, and have a limited number of discharge cycles, around a thousand. Also you should not use more than 30% of the battery's capacity at any time before fully recharging, meaning that the battery is still 70% charged, otherwise the battery lifespan may be depleted even faster. Currently the batteries in my UPS do need to be replaced. I'm lucky if I can get 25 minutes uptime for my PC and monitor. In a future video, I will be replacing the lead acid batteries in the UPS with lithium ion batteries, which are more expensive, but have a much longer lifespan, so watch this space. Recommendation time. Okay guys, so what do I recommend? Buy, or deny? Well if you've watched up until this point, you'll know what some of the limitations and advantages of the UPS are, and the purpose that you would buy it for. My recommendation is, it's a buy, to use the UPS for those purposes. Working from home, it has saved me many times in online meetings, when the power has dipped or gone completely. And also when my desktop PC was on, and the Eskom load shedding schedule suddenly changed, and I lost power again. 
Living in South Africa, I do get a lot of views out of my Mesa UPS and I'm glad that I have it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like this video and look out for more content coming soon.